Well, hello there, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Sorcerer King, folks. I'm your host, Pupu Chu, as before, and well, going forwards in our Let's Play, let's do a quick recap of what we see here. So, from the humble last kind of standing city over here, uh, we managed to expand our little empire, building some outposts, claiming some shards, and just in general, grabbing land here, all while just kind of keeping our, our threat level here. Um, yeah, exactly what it says, a minor concern to the Sorcerer King here. So, um, moving forward with, with with the game, I've noticed a few different things here. One of the things being that, um, or, ah, what was I going to say? Forgot now, damn. Oh, that's right. One of the things that we needed to do over here is uh, actually build the, the things that give us, say, for example, these horses, and also the thing that gives us the, uh, the shards over here. So we'll claim these right away. Yeah, so that'll cost some um, some of that some of that logistics uh, we have there, and afterwards we can kind of move on to greater things here. So I think the plan for the episode is to mop up this northern area. I want to take a look at this uh, abandoned market cap, and I think afterwards it might honestly be time to try out one of these section HQs. So uh, yeah, that is the the general plan for the day. And in the meantime, one of the things that I, I really you know don't know about here is whether or not uh, clearing these bandit camps actually get gets rid of them. Because, I know, maybe my memory could be just a little shaky, but I mean, obviously we haven't seen these uh, Sorcerer King watch posts just yet, but I think those are um, obviously kind of resp uh, re re respawnable ones. But I'm not sure about these bandit camps and stuff like that. Maybe this one is just kind of an isolated one I left alone there. But um, yeah, we should probably take note of that in the future. So that's one thing. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, we just really need to clear out these guys. So we'll do that. Let's take a look at our cities over here. And I think we'll just grab the other clear tile here. And that'll be that. So uh, with this army, let's get them to move through the forests, clear out that area. Right, and with the sentinels, I'm pretty sure I had more than one of them just standing around. There's definitely no sentinel around him. So, hmm, might be missing a turn here. Um, I might have saved that the beat. No, no, I'm pretty sure we 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 are exactly where we had last left off. So, don't know exactly what's going on, but I swear I had two of those guys. Ah. But going forwards, let's see. So the Doom Counter is at 84. We're clearing out things. Uh, we still have all of these quests to do. So we will continue along our way here. This archer is really, really weak. We will uh, come over here and finish this guy off. Yep, dash in for the 3 health or something like that. Gets us 2 HP and a, clou and a clouded topaz. That's good enough. Okay, so let's see this. Uh, your continued efforts to rebuild your pathetic kingdom must stop. The time of the kingdoms and empires are over. Ooh. That is not very good, and looks like that plucked down another one of these scout places on the map for us here. But apart from that, nothing looks like it, uh, yeah, nothing looks like had happened apart from that. Right, so I think I'll make a separate army here as soon as this sentinel is also done, and I'll send those guys forward to maybe get rid of uh, something around here and there. Looks like the game is just steadily progressing through here, so that's not too bad. Uh, so let's... Uh, I have a feeling that, I mean, or should we... Well, this... Or what I'm... Eh. Starting from the from from the beginning here, I'm under the impression that it would probably be best to to go inside these areas and clear out everything along the way, and then move our, our guys from kind of one side of the map to the other. Or alternatively, we can kind of skip some of these minor objectives for for some of the bigger and better things around inside the world. So that said and all, uh, we might want to move forwards like that, but. You know what, I think for the early portion of the game we will clear out all of these, so we'll do that right now. Right, so in the meantime, they'll get that set up. I'll get these guys to collect the chests and do all of that. And again, all of those shards over there we just can't do too much about. I want to go for this one eventually. And of course the ones around us, but for now, I think we'll have to... 
chalk it up to, to losing a few here and there. Right, so let's take a look at our idle units. These guys should still be on guard. And what is this all about? The census worker, this abandoned village is not totally abandoned, you'll find. Finding a man asleep at in the tavern, he, he wakes with a start, only relaxing when he sees who you are. He is a census worker, and after finding this village empty, he decided to take it easy for a few days. Let's, uh, let's tip his share over. We don't necessarily need him. And my primary reason for doing that is kind of getting, uh, getting rid of some of that doomsday counter kick. And would you look at that? We even gained the magician in the process here, so that's not too bad. Have a have another ranged unit. Uh, never, it's never a bad thing. So we'll send our guys over here. Right. So, oh, wanted to uh, merge up with the magicians, but that's fine too. In the meantime, we'll get this army to to assemble, and we'll send them over here to clear out another lost battlefield. Right. So just generally clearing up these areas. History enthusiasts, as you approach the valley, you hear the sound of weapons clashing and creeping forward tentatively, you find a small group of men engaging in some sort of mock battle. So apparently they're, yeah, the uh, the, the battle recreation people. Um, so we can leave them be, we can try to recruit them, or we can try to grab their uh, equipment here. We'll leave them be. So we get some lore, helps us out with our research of spells, not too bad. I'm under the impression that if you try to re... Uh, Re retake their equipment, they'll they'll get mad, which wouldn't be bad, which were, you know wouldn't be good rather. So we'll leave them be for now. Right. So that's one thing that we want to do over here. Let's build another building, or over here. Let's build another building, and let's build a. Let's see. What should we build here? I think we'll just build a stables. It only takes three turns to upgrade our production. That's not too bad. And down over here. Yeah, there's only one shard connected to these cities, so I don't think it would be all too great to build those. Let's build a... Yeah, let's build another workshop over here. And then afterwards, I might build a stables or one of the things that lowers that doomsday counter. I really want to keep that to a minimum for now. Because um, from the looks of it, I, I know that on one part, I mean, they do want you to kind of hurry through the game, but at the same time, I really want to see what they have in store around the map here and there. Speaking of which, a nice little humble inn right here. This inn is packed with people who have fled from a nearby village running from the Sorcerer King's raiding parties. We can go and find her valuables, or we can, um, yeah, do something else. Uh, you know what? We'll go and find her valuables. Again, I'm under the impression that this will lower the uh, the doomsday counter, so we'll do that. And this one doesn't seem to have a have a radio on it, so ideally it'll just be a minor fetch quest. Right, and over here, then this is the is the group who who needs to go and um, get rid of that uh, raid HQ. So we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to test them out here. Luckily, we have a quest to do that. And this one as well. So a hurried move, you arrive to the village that of the woman, uh, war, the one that the woman told us about. Sorcerer's King's forces fleet at first sight here. Um, okay, so we can search this uh, unimpeded. Looks like most of the stuff here is uh, of sentimental value only. But there's one of them that gl glows with a strange energy. So we can take, we can return everything, or we can return everything except for the magical item. Again, I'm gonna go with the honorful one, mostly because I want to see whether or not, yeah, again, whether or not we can lower that doomsday counter. So things are good, and we even get a troop out of it, a grateful cleric, so taking a look at the abilities here, so obviously not too much in terms of combat. But let's see, refresh, heals at 5 HP, not bad, energizing aura, so that would, I would imagine, be some sort of spell, but we don't know of it just yet. Blessing, people get some more attack and some accuracy. Kind of useful, kind of not. Divine Shield here is really, really good. It makes people invincible for a while. Ray of Judgment, again, an ability that we really don't know about. But um, yeah, that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Oh, uh, there's no Merge Armies command that I that I know of. And this is really frustrating when, the, when something like that happens. But there. Right, so we managed to finish that scout, uh, well, ability, so that's not too bad. More stuff into research, eh? I think we will do... 
I'm not a fan of this raised skeleton ability, despite it being really cheap. I think that because you can only cast three spells per turn, I don't think that it will be worth it. I think hold the line here might be better in the long run where... Yeah, it will... Um, it'll be held handy later on once we start building up some threat, maybe. But it's only five turns as well. So, I think we... Uh... Soul burn, look at that. Sacrifice a unit to do their max HP to all enemy units. Half have resisted, but adds three to the Doomsday Clock. Uh, we'll do Wall of Fire. I mean, doing some damage, a nice def defensive spell for now. So do that. And over here, I mean, we could test the uh, the troops if we really wanted to, but nah, I don't think so. Not just yet. Alright. So we have 59 production over here. Very, very good. Let us build... Uh, we could build a citadel. Some more logistics never hurts. We're kind of short on that anyways. And we'll check out a new unit like that. And right, I'm guessing this event comes from the south. Uh, so you find a woman tending a small grave site. She explains that during the War of Magic, uh, a brave officer here fell to give his pen the opportunity to, to, to escape. So we can... We can dig up the grave to see what's there, where we can pay our respects. Go with the first option, and again, I want to lower that counter as much as possible. So taking a look at this log I'm seeing, so there you go, there's the one crystal damaged by the, uh, by the Sorcerer King there. I wanted to check out where we had our different stats being tracked. It's probably not in the spellbook, but eh, you know, never hurts to check. The main thing being is that I really want to see what we have in terms of... Nope, that'd be options. New event. Oh, that's right, we never colonized this. Clape it. Forgot about that. Yeah, I would really like to see kind of what our, our traits are, but it doesn't look like the game tells you that, or maybe it's just hidden away somewhere. Anyhow, that's one thing. Uh, the other, let's grab this army, let's send them back north here. Get rid of these guys, we're never going to trade with them. Or at least not for now, I should say. Right, I'm going to try to clear the way over here. I don't think I'll fight the second uh, troop on that stack. That is not very good. Oh, apparently if you double click on those things, they uh, they tear up. Didn't want to uh, grab that one in particular, but hey, you know what? That's fine. And we'll build another pioneer. Order canceled. I guess the uh, the scout over here couldn't find anything else to to look around for. So that is quite intriguing. There's still some stuff over here which we'll send to to deal with. And yeah, that'll be another shard down, so we'll just have to deal with it. It's 2 out of 24, not too bad. I'm going to make a uh, quick save here. And the reason for that is I want to test my, my troops here. I want to see whether or not we can uh, get, get, uh, get rid of one of these section HQs. So... Yeah, we'll try and uh, see whether or not we can get rid of these guys over here. So let's see, a small problem. Uh, remember, this is uh, kind of, we, we visited an inn. The merchants there seem to have fled from their merchant camp because of uh, bandits. And uh, it looks like once we've arrived here, it looks like there's some dwarves um, from the frozen lands of the north uh, taken that have taken over this merchant camp. So we can flee from them, or we can fight from them. Um, they look like thugs, so I guess, you know, and negotiating them isn't really an option, so we'll fight them. Right, so this is... Oh, this is considered strong? Really? There's only three of them, and they, <laughs> they have 15 HP each. I thought it would have been more than that, but no, uh, this, as it turns out, I mean, seems to be a pretty easy battle. I mean, hell, I could fireball them all right now, they'd probably all die. Yeah, you know what, I'm, usually I, I can serve these scrolls and all that, but I'm, I'm just gonna do that for the sake of expediency, honestly. So yeah, uh, we gain some stuff over here, we get some grateful merchants, whatever they do. So, uh, yeah, that is that. 
taking a look at these guys. I'm guessing these are were not capable of setting new cities, outposts, as well as creating or upgrading outposts. Yeah, you can out upgrade outposts inside this game to make them um, more. I think they do more damage and they're more durable. So this is interesting. Well, I guess, yeah, they're really, in reality, just kind of pioneers, right? So we'll send them down south, we'll send our forces down south as well. And now, so far, I mean, we've seen that these outposts, they have a bit of a, or quite a far reach, so I think I'll settle them down right here. Grab the clay pit once we have the logistics level for it, and we can visit the humble inn in a while. So apparently this is uh, Shadowlands terrain. And because we haven't taken any damage, I mean, we can throw ourselves into the fight here against the Section HQ. We've also saved. So let's begin this fight. Right, so uh, a ram circle structure appears before you. A temporary encampment made permanent. Tants and canvas and evil seeps out of it. A bored looking Urks and overseer greets you. Has the... Yeah, I want to say the Lord of the Rings feel to that tower in the background going off. You know how, how the top of it is designed, how the crown of it is kind of designed like that? So, okay, what is this place? This is Section HQ for the administrative section of Altair. From here we rule the conquered territory. So, okay. What is a section? A section represents one of the former kingdoms of the continent. They are locked away from each other by those gates. Um, so tell us, can you tell me more about these other sections? Let's just ask them about a few of these places. So, Peridin was once ruled by a mighty queen, however, after her daughter wed uh, her disobedient Soviet, uh, or servant, the the lord, or the lord, yada yada yada, went mad with, un with anger. A feud broke out, and stuff happened here. So, I'm guessing we can, yeah, we can add about these places. Uh, we'll ask about the queen. Looks like she lives. Uh, so they're they're all being awfully generous with this information. So that's pretty good. Um, so we can go back and we can ask about a few more of the, the, the different sections over here. So yeah, that is that. Looks like some of the kingdoms are missing here. Some of them are destroyed. Some of them annihilated. And some of them subsumed apparently. So that is nice to know. Uh, ask him how do we leave this se this section so we cannot. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. So the dens and dreams of the, the Shattered Realm of whichever were eventually permitted to leave, only if they swore a permanent and unbreakable pledge to obey the, the Sorcerer King. After that, some of their kind were given papers that allowed them to pass through the gates. What do these papers look like? Uh, so let's see. Uh, you think you can forge them? No, they are enchanted. They're crafted with yada yada yada. No mortal can recreate them. So we'll tell, we'll ask about the forge of the, the, the whatever really, I didn't read that fully. Okay, so anyhow, we managed to find uh, quite a lot of, quite a lot of information about this. So the, the, so the overseer stronghold here, this twisted overseers here know much about the outer world and even know how your realm might survive it. Okay. Can I re-explore that? Hmm. So I thought there would have been a fight afoot, but uh, apparently not. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily work into our favor, but I'm guessing that um, eventually you do need to take these guys down. Maybe our maybe our threat level isn't high enough that this area uh, kind of functions as anything for now. I'm gonna bring them over here and I'm gonna get them to fight this uh, building or thing here for now. I'm gonna see whether or not there is anything about this section HQ over here. Uh, from the looks of it, there is not, however. So, okay. Yeah, in that case, I think we can leave that be for now. And we can kind of focus on expanding uh, into the, some of the areas then. 
Yeah, so uh, the one thing that we do know is that the Sorcerer King he, here, he has two lieutenants, and I was kind of hoping that there would have been only two of these towers, and we could have gotten rid of them and, you know, kind of fight uh, fight whatever is there, really. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So I suppose we'll wait some things out. We'll build another traveler unit here. Looks like we're doubling down on our uh, passages over here, which kind of sucks. But I, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to get another pioneer down so that we could colonize some other places. Huh. I guess we'll send it this way over here. I see some more uh, fertile land there. And I think there was also a, a patch up here, yeah. So we can do that too in the meantime. Right, and not enough logistics, eh? We're producing 10 grain over here. Not too much. We will build a command post, I guess. Right, so let's fight a, a bandit group over here. And I want to see here how some of our new found units, like the magician here, uh, hold out over the uh, over the group here. Right, so I think we'll try to hold up on uh, moving forwards here for a while. And I'm going to see whether or not we can kind of just do some damage. Uh, we hold the front here and let them come to us and do some damage like that. So uh, we can get the failed wizard over here to cast some more spells. Um, so let's get him to do exactly that. So let's... Where he could, start from over, he could summon a fire elemental. I think we'll get uh, giantify it to happen. Looks like this is an AoE spell as well. Yeah, I really want to see those two units uh, really pumping out some damage. So we'll see what that does. Okay, it's a lot of poison shot. Let's see what the magician can do here. So, double click word details over here. Can do an arcane arrow. Fires an arcane arrow, strikes for 10 damage plus 2 per shard. Helps fire damage, helps lightning depend damage. So lots of resistances over here. And stuff like that. So not too bad, not too bad. And she has just... I, I would imagine a generic range attack that does 14 to 18 damage, which is coincidentally more than this arrow does at the moment, I believe. We're, I, we're you know what, on par, it's on par. Yeah, so I think just in general, a good ranged unit here. Right, so this should be fun, however. We can, uh, might be able to charge through a whole bunch of these units right over here. Right, so the last tile has to be empty. That would only lead over here. Uh, on second start, on second thoughts, maybe do not charge. I'll move them up here. There we go. Or there. I think this one is probably better. Yeah, charge, come on. Yeah, that was really, really good. Especially, I would imagine, because they're uh, they're a giant troop of units. Yeah, so not too shabby. And would you look at that? Those wolves have jumped right into our wall of pikes, which, fortunately for us, perfectly counter them. Nice, got a free you know two for one here practically. I'm not really sure what triggers the counterattack just yet, but uh, it's very useful that we have that here. So the failed wizard here, he is not a offensive caster from the looks of things. We can do Dark Candle, allows the unit to summon a fire elemental in tactical combat. Do I just put this wherever, really? Oh, I see. So it spreads fire around wherever it is, really. So let's see, cuts victims HP by 40%, if resisted it cuts by uh, a smaller amount here. Take a look at his disc uh, description over here, so vulnerable to cold, immune to fire, soul burning, and summon into battle. So let's see, yeah. I think we cast soul burning on this guy right over here. Yeah, because that does a whopping 70 points of damage. It's quite a lot. So now I think we get Thandis to move over here. Again, he's using that giant bonus to attack. Sweep. 
And okay, so not bad. Cuts down almost all of that. Pass to turn on the Spearman. So far, I mean, for for the, for some for a period of time, these guys, the Pikemen, rather, are, are some of our better units by far. But uh, currently, as it stands, they're really only good against cavalry, seeing as how with the the giant uh, wizard combination deal, if you will. Uh, that seems to be a lot more effective here. Speaking of which, we get them to bash in here. Trade nine for nine. This guy is just so big. Ninety-six hit points. That's why. It's under the impression we would do a little more damage than that, but okay. Let's finish the job here. No, oh, only seventeen. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, it doubles their damage, so that's that's yeah, that's very close to to the forty they do otherwise. Let's see. Uh, we'll finish off this guy. Or no, these direwolves—they are very very resi resistant over here. 148 critical, perfect. A little overkill though. Right, so let's see, let's stun these guys. Ooh. So that's not too bad. And right, we can get some more loot like that. So okay, in the meantime, I think we'll send our armies forwards. We'll do another fight over here. And afterwards, we've, from the looks of it, we've secured what is practically our realm here. And now going, going kind of forwards in time, I think this area right over here is our next way for, uh, for expansion. Right, so let's get uh, this battle done with, and then move on to there. Right, so this is going to be an uncertain battle. But we'll fight it out nevertheless, because I really would like to get these uh, units leveled up over here for, for the future. Okay, let's take a look at their units. Barbarians, 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 barbarians. Let's cast Hypnotism. We could use some more units with this troop. 20% chance of succeeding. And damn, that was a bad roll. We'll try that in the future, though. Okay, so let's see. Still want to try to grab that troop, so let's focus fire on some of the dire wolves over here. Yeah, do some damage like that. And now, ooh, I wonder. Oh no, never mind. That was those with the spearmen. I thought it was the cavalry over there for the longest time for some reason. I wanted to move them here to charge, presumably all three of these uh, units, but eh, didn't play out as I as I w had hoped here. So, in this case, we'll still do the charge, because I still want to get rid of some units. And, you know, I don't mind them taking too much damage. Ah, you know what, let's just finish these guys off. Alright, so we'll do that over there. Uh, in the meantime, over here, let's see what the clerk can do. So, Divine Shield, as we've seen. Uh, invincibility over here, and now we can see all the, the, the different abilities. So, Energizing Aura. Heals everyone inside a 9 tile radius. Very, very useful because that is practically almost, I want to say, uh, the entire map here. So it means that it's a 9x9 nine nine area. Blessing increases attack. Ray of Judgment does all the enemies between the enemy and the cat between the caster and the target and the, and the, the enemy target, really. 
So not bad, we have a lot of potions, so uh, we don't necessarily need anything anything there. The caster is a, a little fragile for what I would like. So I think we'll just refresh here. And I do that as a, as a bit of a safety measure because you know what comes after. Yikes, we're probably going to need the uh, the invincibility on that. But luckily this lines up for some good uh, combat tricks here. Oh, stunned. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, that is nasty. Okay, let's see what we can do. Five damage, not bad, not great. Hmm. I think we just do correction here. Yeah, because the way I see it, he is... Oh, he's gonna dodge. Perfect. I was gonna say, he seems like he's gonna die either way. We take a lot of damage in the process, so... Or he still might, yeah. So I wanted to get those... Oh, man. That stack of three is really, really deadly, but I wanted to get that off and just kind of have it do something rather than, uh, than never getting the chance to. So our pikemen over there can handle themselves. Let's get rid of some of these guys inside the back. So if I move, if I move here, I might be able to charge. I want to say. If not, okay, we'll bash in. Yeah, hit that guy so hard he, he flies through the enemies or all of those units right there. Now I just really hope it's uh, yeah uh, our turn before anything happens right here. So over here, I think we'll be able to survive. If we kind of cap off one of those. Yeah, this works out pretty well. Divine shield him. Now the thing I wonder is whether or not the uh, the heal or the, the damage here is permanently uh, permanently kind of prevented for those two turns in the sense that if I can like you know maybe use some of his abilities in the meantime and they don't cost HP. But on second thoughts, I mean that'd be pretty overpowered. So let's see, uh, we can fire a flame arrow, we haven't seen this before. Deals normal attack damage, causes additional damage in, in the form of burning. Oh, either way it only required three points to finish that guy off. Ooh. Alright, so still not bad, but we took some losses there. And either way, I think we've practically freed up everything over here. So, not too bad, not too bad at all. And of course, inside the next few turns, we will be able to get something where we'll be able to develop this area even more. And let's take a look at this. So, Paladin uh, starts off with base 29 power. That is almost, yeah, yeah, almost three times what we have so far. So these guys are, they're mounted units, but they don't cost any horses, so they're mounted on, on a drake, in fact. Capable of healing uh, units, they can do a lot of damage to the undead, as we've seen, coming from kind of other fantasy games. So not bad, not bad at all. Let's grab a, right now I don't really need any other troops. I would like to grab the Order of the Legion, get some more capacity for our armies, which would be really nice, but let's do a blacksmith. So, yeah, just f for the future, I think that'll pay uh, for itself by, but yeah, making it so that our troops are a lot more usable there. I'm not sure if we'll be able to send out this uh, force just yet.
so yeah, I think we'll just garrison a town here. Build a guard in the meantime. And let's see, leveling up this area of the city. We need some more production to get some of the big projects in our capital. So let's garrison some forests. What is that? They seem to have a big old golem or something like that with them. So we can deal with this. This is uh, led by Sorcerer King. It's, yeah, they have a troll over here. Big slow unit. And a second army of just Darklings, really. Let's see. Yeah, we might as well cleanse everything else around uh, alongst here. So let's do this. Someone else's problems. Uh, again, one of the quests that we were dealing with. Found in the abandoned village that they want us to clear out. Let's do that. Yeah, and again, only two units. Decent in terms of combat power, but apart from that, they are... Or, you know, they look like... Fairly average units. Come in here, bash. Let's do Gigantify again. Ooh, this will be really neat as uh, come to think of it. We'll be able to use some of those giant pikes. So yeah, that should be pretty neat. Oh. <laughs> and over here, Mounted Charge. So this is even better. So let's see what else. The villagers who accompany you are astounded at your victory and offer to accompany you on your journey. We can either train them as sentinels or pioneers. You know, sentinels take longer to train, but at the same time, I think we already have an overflow. Or no, we could use another pioneer. So let's do that. Gain some courage. Gain... Oh, hey, a round shield as well. So that is good. And we, with these ex-villagers, we have another group of fertile land recently cleared, thanks to uh, the band over here that we can get rid of. And in the meantime, I guess they can clear out a humble inn. So in this inn, you, have a, you find an earnest young man who explains that he's discovered some relics from an ancient field nearby. Um, so he... Uh, let's see... He's seeking to dig them up. We can we can help him or tell him to get lost. We'll help him out. And this is another multi-stage uh, mission, A. Eh? Doesn't seem to have added any... Or no, there we go. There's that abandoned battlefield. Or ancient battlefield. So we'll explore that in another episode. So I'll see you guys next time.